I am Tyler. I'm coming at you from SportRx, and I am here with my pal Ryan from SportRx, also known as the Coast in-house Costa brand ambassador. That was a cute little wink. I liked it. <laughs> so it's good that we have him here because yeah. he knows everything there is to know about Costa, which is nice right now because of this new collection that Costa has rolled out for their fall holiday. Or the fall holiday. Collection, uh, and uh, it's uh, some new styles, entirely new styles. Yeah. And uh, this collection, they are calling their ultra light sports medals. Nice. And I want Ryan to tell me about why they call it that. So clearly, we're calling it the ultra light sports medals because it's made of a titanium material, which is very lightweight. It's non-corrosive and very durable. These things are going to perform out if you're out on the boat, or if you're not, you're just hanging around with your friends, you know, walking around. These things are always going to be performing for you. Super nice. What's the name of this model you have in your hands? Specifically, we got the skimmer in our hands. Skimmer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I like about this design, it's a rimless design, which uh, with most brands would mean non-prescription. But Costa doesn't do that. Costa is better than that. Costa offers it in prescription. That is correct, but not in the 580G. Only for prescription will be the 580P or that 580 Trivex material that you're a big fan of. Big fan. So that makes sense. You're not going to want glass with a, an exposed lens anyway. It's going to crack. It's going to chip. Um, and it's heavy. We're talking about lightweight frame. It's yep. known, the, the titanium material is known for being extremely lightweight, also very durable, like mm -hmm. you said. Yep. Um, and so you're going to want the lightest lens possible. Mm -hmm. And in prescription, that's going to be the Trivex. Yep. I always recommend that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, in the, in the world of frame manufacturing, titanium is known as kind of the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially in, in terms of performance, exactly. super lightweight, maintains its shape, mm -hmm. uh, maintains its, uh, its finish, its luster, yes. exactly. its color. Uh, what other features so are So one of, I think you and I both like is, you know, this internal spring hinge. And why don't you explain to people why you're a big fan of this? So this, the internal spring hinge is really nice because of how streamlined it looks. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say that because if you were to look at this and not know that it had a spring hinge, you probably would think that it doesn't have a spring hinge uh, because it's hidden in the design of the temple. It's an integral part of the temple mm -hmm. and uh, it looks really, really good. Yeah. What about these temple tips? Though? So yeah, you got some temple tips and so, uh, air cushion self-adjusting nose pads and the temple tips also are adjusting. And just, you know, to really help with that grip and that comfortability, again, these are ultra light sports metals and they really want to, you want to be able to have these on and doesn't feel like they're on your face. That's right. So uh, yeah, the things I think that are important to note about that injection molded temple is that it's not just a, you know, a, a separate piece that they grab and they put on the end of the temple. It is designed for this frame mm -hmm. in particular and these nice little uh, kind of grip pieces at the end of the temple. I know that they are hydrophilic, which yep. means it absorbs moisture. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the more you sweat, the stickier it gets. That's, that's brilliant, as opposed to it's sliding more exactly. as it gets wet, which mm -hmm. most rubbers do. Okay. And I like the, the, the uh, what did you call this nose pad again? Yeah, air cushion self-adjusting nose, nose air pads. Air cushion, air cushion, because it's like a little pillow <laughs> right? on your nose. It's, it's nice, it's very soft, still mm -hmm. silicone, so it grips really well, low profile, uh, just a, a really good, uh, a, a good nose pad design. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to throw this on. So what do we call this in terms of fit? They're calling it a large to extra large, but you know, you're more of, I'd say, a medium and it doesn't look overly big. It doesn't look like a typical extra large sunglass would on you. Yeah. So uh, they, I think, don't give themselves enough credit for the, the range of face sizes that this fits. Uh, I am a medium. Maybe I'm on the smaller side, so maybe these are a little bit big on yeah. me, but he said I still look handsome, which <laughs> made my heart go a flutter. Uh, but why don't you throw those on yeah, so we can see what it's like on a you know more of a medium to large face, yeah. uh, and I'll talk about the measurements. So we have this skimmer with the A measurement, which is also known as the lens width, comes in at 62 millimeters. Mm -hmm. The B measurement, which we call the lens height, uh, it's coming in at 45 millimeters with a bridge width of 14 and a half mm -hmm. millimeters. Now we have a temple to temple measurement, which in my opinion is valuable because it gives you a, a better idea of effective fit. Mm -hmm. And it comes in at about 139 millimeters, which is a good large 
category uh, measurement there. And then we have a temple length of 128 millimeters. Oh. Now, while that may seem short, this isn't like an average pair of eyeglasses where it needs to wrap more behind the ear. Mm -hmm. So you don't need so much length on there. And we already talked yeah. about how it, it grips really well, so you mm -hmm. don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I feel like we covered this. No, it's pretty much pretty well. Yeah. It's, a good, it's a good frame. It's a good frame. You're gonna like it. Good design. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us if we if we if we conveyed how much we like this frame well down in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you yep. want to get more info like this. Uh, we are just full of them. Oh yeah. Ask questions down below if you have any coaster questions at all. I'll He's gonna answer, answer them because he knows. <laughs> He's our ambassador, and uh, we hope to see you out there. Later.